This daf is sponsored by David Grossman. Thank you for your sponsorship. If you would like to sponsor an Amr daf, see the description box below and see the description box below to see how you can support this channel. We continue now at the top of daf Chav Vav Amr Aleph and Masech is Bab Metziah. This is Bab Metziah, daf 26a. And the previous summer, the Mishnah said that if you find something in the rubble or in an old wall, you can assume that it belonged to the Amori who used to live in the land. The Gemara said, well, isn't it possible that the Jew who now owns the property, maybe he put the item there? Why do we assume that it belonged to the Amori? And the Gemara now answers the Shasech Tfei. The case is that the item that you find is very rusty. Rashi says the Shasech Tfei Helu Chalu the Rabbit has a lot of rust. The Kuli Hilo Shavik Lu. It's not going to be left for that long, and so therefore we could assume that it belonged to the Emori who previously lived in the land. And the Gemara continues at the two dots. The Mishnah said Bekos El Chadash by a new wall Mechetzio Velachutz. If it's from the midpoint towards the outside, Shalo it belongs to him. Mechetzio Velafnim. If it's from the midpoint towards the inside, meaning towards the house, Shal Balabayis. Then it belongs to the Balabayis. And the Gemara says, Amar Ravashi, Ravashi says, Sakina Basar Kasa, Vikisa Basar Shinse. By a knife, we follow the handle. That means we follow the direction that the handle is pointing. And by a pouch, we follow the laces. We follow the direction that the laces are pointing. For example, if the handle or the laces are pointing towards the house, so then you assume it was put there by the owner of the house and the item belongs to him. And so the Gemara asks, Vela Masnison, so what about our Mishnah? It says if the item is from the midpoint towards the outside, it's his. If it's from the midpoint towards the inside, it belongs to the Balabayas. So Velixi, so why don't we just see? Kasa Lagavi, Kasa Labar, is the handle pointing in or out? Ishinse Lagavi, Shinse Lavar, are the laces, are they pointing in or out? What are we talking about? The midpoint where the item is, the midpoint towards the outside, the midpoint towards the inside. We should ask what direction it's pointing. And the Gemara answers Masnison. Our Mishnah is talking about rags or metal strips. They don't have handles or laces. And that's why it goes by exactly where in the wall these items are found. And the Gemara continues, Tana was taught, if the wall is filled with the items, meaning the entire thickness of the wall is filled with the items, it's not in just one half of the thickness of the wall. So then Cholkin, so then you divide it. The Gemara says, Pshit, isn't that obvious that you divide it? And the Gemara says, Lo no tzrich, it's necessary to mishpa v'chad gisa, the cases where it's slanted in one direction. So Mao detema, what might you have thought? Ishtafuche ishtafach, that what happened was, it actually started from the higher point in the wall, so to speak, and then slipped downward. You might have thought that you say that, and Really, it all came from one side of the wall. Kamash Malan, so that's what it's teaching us again, that if it fills the entire thickness of the wall, it's chok in the halach as you divide it. And the Gemara continues at the two dots. The Mishnah said, If you rent out the house to others, even if the item is found inside of the house, he can keep the item because we can't identify the owner since so many different people have lived in this house. And the Gemara says, Why is that the case? Why don't we follow the last person who, who rented the house? Milotnan, didn't, didn't we learn in the Mishnah, this is a Mishnah in Mesech HaShkolim, if money is found in front of the animal merchants, this is the animal merchants in Yerushalayim, Leo Lameiser, we always assume it's Meiser, but Harabayis, if the money is found in Harabayis, Chulin, we assume that the money is Chulin, of Yerushalayim, and if it's found in other parts of Yerushalayim, B'Shar Yimos HaShan Chulin, during regular times of the year, we assume it's Chulin, and B'Shas HaRegel HaKol Meiser, but if it's the time of the holiday, then we assume it's all Meiser. And Rashi explains, Lefnei Sochrei, Behem of Yerushalayim, again, the animal merchants are selling in Yerushalayim, Li Olam, Bein B'Shas HaRegel, Bein Shalom B'Shas HaRegel, the word Li Olam over here means always, meaning whether it's the time of the holiday, whether it's not the time of the holiday, that's talking about if you find the money in front of Sochrei, Behem, you always assume that it's going to be Meiser, why is that? Meiser, Sharov Basar, Hanechol B'Yerushalayim, Meiser, most meat that is eaten in Yerushalayim is Meiser, Lefisha Ein Adam Shoah B'Yerushalayim, At Shiyochal Kal Masro, because a person makes sure to consume all of his maister, and he gives the money of maister to the poor people of the city, or the people that he's friends with in the city. So when you have maister sheni, most of that maister sheni money is used to buy animals, for carbon shlomim, and that's why we assume again, in such a situation, we assume that it's maister. And Rashi continues, if the money is found in Harabayas, you assume it's Chulin, it's not money from Meiser Sheni. This is even during the holiday. Now, even though most of the money in the city is Meiser Sheni, because the people who are coming, visiting for the holiday, they're bringing their money in Meiser Sheni. We're not going to leave aside the majority 
majority of the year, the majority of the year, it's not Meiser, and follow the holiday. But rather what we say is, that it actually the money that you're finding on Harabayis, it must have fallen before the Regal. And it's actually Chulin. Now in the other marketplaces in Yerushalayim, so then it actually does depend on the time of the year. Meaning again, in front of the animal merchants on Harabayis, it doesn't really matter what time of the year it is. But in Yerushalayim, in the other marketplace of Yerushalayim, so it depends. During regular times of the year, it's Chulin, because most of the money in the city is Chulin. But during the times of the holiday, it's Meiser. Because at that time, most of the money in the city is Meiser. And the Gemara continues, V'yomer of Shemaya bar Zeir, and of Shemaya bar Zeir says, My time, what is the reason? Rashi explains, V'yomer of Shemaya bar Zeir, my time be Rushalayim b'shas haregel Meiser. Why is it that in Yerushalayim, during the time of the holiday, we assume it's Meiser? V'lo amin an milifnei haregel nafla. Why don't we just say that it fell from before the holiday? Kedamer b'harabais, that's exactly what we say in Harabais. In Harabais, even during the holiday, we assume maybe the Meiser fell from before the holiday. Why don't we say that in Yerushalayim? And Rev Shemaya bar Zeir says, the reason is because the marketplaces of Yerushalayim, they're swept every day. Rashi says, The marketplaces of Yerushalayim are swept every day. So if it fell before the holiday, the people who were sweeping the marketplace already found that money. That's why you assume that during the holiday, it is money of Meiser Sheni. didn't need to be swept every day. Shein tit we offer kolechum because the mud and the dirt it doesn't collect there. Mitochshum meshupa because it's slanted. Viod and further shein adam nichnas shum b'minna luvavak shal raglav. A person doesn't enter there with his shoes and the dust on his feet, and that's why there's a distinction between Yerushalayim and the Harabayas. And so the Gemara continues. Alma we see from this. Amrinon kamoi kamoi azlu. We say that which was there first has already went away. Vahani achrini ninuan. What you're finding is the other stuff, is the later stuff. So hachanamis over here as well. We should say the same thing when it comes to renters in the house. Kamo, kamo, azla, whatever was first has already left. Vahani de basro, and this belongs to the later resident. Why don't we say that? And Rashi explains, Alma bedover shasay lishabed, by something that swept, Amrinan kamoi, kamoi, azla, we say whatever was there first is gone. Vahani achrinan in ninu, and this is new stuff, this is later stuff. So hachanami here also, stam so cherbayis kishu yotze, most people, when they rent a house and they leave, mechapis calls of Yosef and Otel Ashlo. They search the whole, all the corners of the house, take what is his. V'yotz and he leaves. V'neimu ha'achronim shachachu. And so we should say it was forgotten by the later residents. She'ilu harishonim shachachu. Kvar matzu ha'achronim. Because if it was forgotten by the earlier ones, the later ones would have already found it anyway. So why don't we say that when it comes to the renters of the house? And the Gemara answers, Amar Eish Lakish Mishum Bar Kapara. Eish Lakish says in the name of Bar Kapara, Kagon Shaso Pundak L'Shloshi Yisrael, the place where you find this item, it was an inn for three Jews who were there at the same time. And so at the time the person lost the item, he just didn't know who to claim it from. And therefore, essentially, he is Miyayish. The Gemara says, Shema Minash, we see from here, Halachik Rav Shimon Ben Elazar, Afilu Barov Yisrael, that the Halach is like Rav Shimon Ben Elazar. Again, Rav Shimon Ben Elazar says that if you lose something, even if it has a simon, but if it's in a public place, so he says at that point the owner is Miyayish. And the question was whether Rav Shimon Ben Elazar would say that even in, in an area that's majority Jewish, and here we're saying that there were three Jews who rented out the inn together, so it sounds like Rav Shimon Ben Elazar would say his Halach, even when it's a majority Jewish. Should we see that from this answer? And the Gemara says, Alam Rav Menashe Bar Yaakov, well, rather Rav Menashe Bar Yaakov says, Kagon Shaso Punduk, L'Shlosha Ovde Kochavim, fine. So the case is that it's an in for three non-Jews. It doesn't have to be that we answer three Jews. It could be three non-Jews. And again, that's why essentially the owner, the person who lost it, has given up hope. Rav Nachman Amar Rav Baravu. Rav Nachman says that Rav Baravu says, Afilu Teim L'Shlosha Yisrael. You can even give the answer we gave before, that it was rented out to three Jews. And so then the question is, can we determine their Therefore, that the halach is like Rav Shimon ben Elazar, even Barov Yisrael, but not necessarily. This case would be a, a little different. My time, and what's the what's the reason? Ahu the nafal minay miyayish, because here there's a specific reason why the person who lost the object that it fell from him. There's a specific reason why he despairs. Meimar Omer, because he says to himself, Michli, let us see. Inish achrin alohave bahade. Elahani, there's no one else with me except for these other two people. Amri Kamayo Kama Zimni, I said to them already several times, Lahajruli to return it to me, Velohajruli, and they didn't return it to me. Bahashta Lahajru, and now they're going to return it to Datayu Ladura, if they really wanted to return it, Adru, 
Ruin Hile, they would have already done so. They would have returned it to me. The reason why they're not returning it is because they have in mind to steal the item. Meaning over here, it's not just that you drop it in a public place and it happens to be a public place that's majority Jewish. There the person might not actually give up hope. Maybe he figures the person will announce the lost item at some point in time. Here where you know, where you can identify everyone else who was in the inn with, the person can identify everyone else who was in the inn with him. So here already he just thinks they have in mind to steal it. That's why he gives up hope. And the Gemara continues, Vyazda of Nachman, the timer of Nachman follows his opinion. The Yomar of Nachman of Nachman says, Ra sell if a person sees a coin. And Rashi explains, Lishlosha Yisrael to three Jews, Bavasachas, again it was rented out to three Jews at once. Vichol Shekinim Hayov de Kochav. Now certainly if they were non Jews, Umisha Nafami Menomiyash, the point is the person who had fell from gives up hope. To Lo Yadam Imani, boy, he doesn't know who to request it from. Pundak Makam Shaovrim Vishavim Lonim Laila Echurushnaim, a Pundak is essentially an inn where people stay for one or two nights. And so then the Gemara said, should we conclude that the Halach is like Rav Shimon ben Elazar Vafilu Barov Yisrael, even if it's an area that's majority Jewish, the Ovid Demiayish, meaning people are going to give up hope anyhow, the Lo Samech de Lahadrin Hili, they're not going to rely on the fact that it will be returned to him. The Lo Miflagi ben Dover Shiyesh Bosim and Lashem Bosim, because over here we're not making a distinction between something with a simon or without a simon. And so then the Gemara said, maybe we're talking about Shlosha Ov de Kochavim, there were three non Jews. Rashi just notes, I did the Nakat Shlosha Gabi Yisrael, since we have the number three by Jews, Nakat Nami Gabi Ov de Kochavim, we say that by the Ov de Kochavim as well, but the truth is the truth is it could be one as well, as long as he's in the last set of people that are in that inn, that will still suffice to give this answer. And then the Gemara said, you could even say that it was three Jews. You don't have to say that the halach is like Rishim ben Elazar, even by Rov Yisrael. Because when did the Rabbanon argue on Rishim ben Elazar? That's if the item falls in a place where there's a lot of people, and you don't know all of the people in that place. The Savar Ha'ovid Umay Maramar, because there the person who lost it says to himself, Ahuda Ashka Khlo Yadamimi Nafla, the person who finds it doesn't know who it fell from. Well Khashiyagiya Haregal, when the holiday comes, the Akhrazala he'll announce it, the Yasa Simon Vatal and that Vatain Simon Vatal, then I'll give a simon and I'll take it. Avalhacha de Yadalhula Kulu Vitavino, but here I know everybody involved and I've already asked them for it. Velo Udu and they didn't admit Ayusha Miyash, that's why over here he certainly gives up hope. May Maramar he says to himself, Amri Kamayu Amarti Lefneim, I said again before them, I told them that I lost the item to return it. Vahashtalahadri, you think now they're going to return it? Bitmiya, that's with wonder. And so therefore, again, the person is essentially saying there's no way I'm going to get it back. And therefore, he gives up hope. We will continue with this discussion in the next video. And Daf Chavav Amid Beis.